All right, we are in off-season mode for the New York Mets with the general manager's meetings underway. The Amazons have reportedly hired a new coach. Mets president of baseball operations, David Stern, spoke to the media on Tuesday about the team's focus this off-season. Now, we're going to discuss the Mets off-season plans with the host of the Subway to Shea podcast. That would be Anthony Rivera, who joins me now for some Mets off-season talk. Anthony, how's it going, man? Great. Uh, off season's here. The hot stove is right there. And uh, I'm excited to talk baseball. Something fresh now. Something fresh and new. Yeah, something fresh and new. The hot stove will start to heat up if it's not hot already, as they say. But we're going to talk about David Stearns and his comments on Tuesday. And he said that pitching is the priority this off season for the Mets. Do you agree with Stearns? And how should the Mets go about addressing their needs of pitching? This offseason, should it be via free agency or via trade? Well, I 100% agree with uh, David Stearns about the pitching. The Mets have maybe two starters right now, legit starters in uh, Quintana and Kodai Senga. The rest are probably five or six uh, a starter in like uh, McGill and, and now Peterson, who's going to be out after having surgery. He's going to miss uh, six to seven months, so you can't count on him. You got Luke Casey. So the Mets should be open to either signing a, a couple of starting pitchers or even making a trade. Everything should be on the table in this new regime and uh, under David Stearns. And I, I would definitely like to see them either sign a couple of pitchers. There's a lot of names out there. And then there's always a names in trades like Corbin Burns. So we'll see how this goes. But definitely everything should be on the table and every uh, option should be open. All right, Mets should be looking at everything you say. But, you know, fans always get excited, as you know, Anthony, about free agency and who their team can sign. So i got to ask you this. Which pitchers would you like to see the Mets target in free agency? And who do you think is likely to come to Flushing? I would like to see them target uh, Jordan Montgomery, obviously a World Series champion now out of the Texas Rangers, but he's one guy that I would like to see them target, as well as uh, Eduardo Rodriguez. I think they need another lefty in that rotation. Comes from Detroit, won 13 or more games in the last four of five seasons. So he's a guy that I would definitely target. I know everyone wants to talk about Yamamoto and Snell. Those are names that are definitely going to be out there. They're definitely going to cost a lot of money. The thing is, I don't know where Cohen and Stearns are with distributing these funds and, and distributing his money because uh, uh, he talked about it. Cohen talked about it that, you know, they, they, they maybe they're going to spend, but maybe they won't spend, you know, like drunken sailors like they did last season. So we're going to have to see where they go when it comes to the rotation and also the bullpen. The bullpen needs a lot of help, too. So a guy like maybe Jordan Hicks for the bullpen, I would like to see. And then they're going to have to address at least one bat. Yeah, that's going to have to be a need, too. They're going to have to address the bat. We're talking a lot about the pitching. But as you said here, Anthony, you'll be interested to see, do they go after the high price free agents or do they look for – Pitchers who might have, I hate to put it in this term, but a little bit more value, right? Not bargain bin shopping, but can they find some more value? That will be interesting to see. And I want to talk to you about the new manager of the Mets that also reportedly will make Carlos Mendoza the 25th manager in franchise history. That news coming on Tuesday. The Mets, as you know, Anthony, haven't had success lately with first-time managers. Can they find success here with Mendoza? Only time will tell, right? We only know so much about Carlos Mendoza. Yes, he's been in the Yankee organization uh, most of his career, and he's been the bench coach for Aaron Boone the last four seasons. So I'm willing to give Carlos Mendoza a chance. As soon as he signs on the dotted line, as soon as he puts that jersey on, he's going to have my 100% backing and hope that he – takes this team to a World Series. I know it didn't work out with a Mickey Calloway. I know it didn't work out with uh, who the Yankee third base coach that I can't even think of right now. Um, it, it, Luis the, Rojas. It, the name is Luis, Luis Rojas. Rojas. It, that, yep. it was such a short term that I can't even that you remember. Forgot. I, can't, I can't blame <laughs> you for that one. I can't blame <laughs> you for that one. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm willing to give uh, Carlos Mendoza the opportunity to, to prove himself and we'll see what happens. And and Stearns has a guy that will work with him, and that's what you want. You want the, these guys working together because we clearly saw last year that Epler and Buck Showalter really weren't on the same page. Yeah, and the Mets need that on the same page and continuity is what the Mets fans hope for going forward, and we will see if that will happen. But, as we said, we are in off-season mode with the New York Mets. The hot stove is heating up. There will be a lot more rumors, a lot of news breaking in the coming weeks. Anthony Rivera of the Subway to Shea podcast, the host of that, 
will be on top of it, and he'll be talking with me some more. Anthony, always good to talk some Mets baseball with you. We'll talk again soon. You too, Dexter.